I haven't filmed any videos in a long time. Uh, it's just been too hot to do anything. The shipping container, I can like hang out in here, but if I start working, way too hot. Uh, also, I've realized that I need a lot of things that cost a lot of money. And I don't know if I'm ready to financially commit to a huge project like this just yet. Uh, it is become a great shop for me. I get to use this space. I hang out here all the time. Uh, it stores all my stuff and it's safe and, and I, I like it, you know. I just like it as kind of a, a shop right now. Uh, eventually, maybe in a few months, I'll get back into it when it cools down a little bit and I can, I can work without dying. Uh, but as of right now, this project is pretty much on hold. Temporary, temporary hold. I'm gonna piss some people out. Hold on, let's subscribe in. Okay, so on a separate topic, I'm always bugging my, uh, oh God, I'm just a pasty little man, aren't I? So on a separate note, I'm always bugging my, my landlords for like some kind of four wheeler, side by side, something that I can use to work on things on the farm. I do a lot of stuff around the farm that I don't film or, or document. Uh, a lot of it's just for privacy for them, but uh, I'm always using like a wheelbarrow to move stuff from point A to point B. And I'm always bugging them like, hey, can you get me like a side-by-side -side or get me a four-wheeler? And then the other day I was like, I can't get approved for a freaking credit card at the dollar store, but I have the money to buy a, a four-wheeler, you know? Four-wheeler payments can be like 100 bucks a month. So what I told them was that if they would buy the quad, I'll make the payments on it and then it'll be mine, but I'll make the payments and, and, and do it that way, you know? It's in their name, but I pay for it and we're good. And then they were like, well, hold on, I might have one at my father's house. So the other day for Father's Day, they went up to uh, the father's house and they brought home a four-wheeler. <laughs> you don't even know. This is like a, this thing is like a childhood dream of mine. You know, all I wanted when I was a kid was a quad, a go-kart, any type of motorized transportation. We were too poor to, to afford such a thing. So I'm really happy to have this thing here. It's not the greatest at all, but it's got a motor. It, it can tow stuff, it can pull stuff, it can ride stuff, it can do stuff for me on the farm. So it's, it's an absolutely essential tool for me. I, I'm not gonna turn into Wrangler Star and do all these modifications to it and all this stuff. Wrangler Star has got what we call disposable income. Buys a twelve, buys a twenty thousand dollar dirt bike, and then puts another ten thousand dollars of special upgrades into the thing. That's that's money I don't have, but I am going to do small things to this, uh, which I'll show you a little bit in this video. But I did already build this metal rack for the front out of some scrapped, out of some scrap bed frame railing, and then I had some some wire mesh from from a project that I did in my tiny house. So I made that front thing and then you bolted it down onto the front. For the time that I spent making this thing, I could have bought one for the front, one for the back for a hundred bucks, but whatever. I mean, I made it and it's rock solid. Like you're not moving that. So when they brought this home, it hadn't been running for four years. It's been sitting in a barn for four years. So I took the whole top half of this thing apart. I took the gas tank, seat off, the air filter, got to the carburetor, uh, finally realized that I just wasn't, I, need, I needed to jump start it. So I hook a pair of jumper cables up to it and it, it turned over. Uh, I shot the, um, I shot the carburetor directly in without the air filter with some, some carb cleaner, basically some, you know, liquid car start or whatever the hell that stuff is. And it, pum, 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 it did a little pum, pum, pum. So I was pretty excited about that. A couple more tries and it finally fired up. And it's been running pretty good ever since. It did come with the custom one-of-a-kind duct tape seat. My, my neighbor had some leftover seat cover from their, their kitchen seats that they did. So I threw that on there, but I did also order a black piece of, of like replacement, the, the actual seat cover black stuff that I'm gonna throw on there once it comes. It's, it hasn't been shipped here yet. God, I hate this heat. Let's do an oil change though. So I went on Amazon and I made a shopping cart of all these great things and I ordered them. And I also ordered a gallon of the Honda specific ATV oil, um, and oil filters, tow ropes, all these different things. And I got an email from Amazon saying that my package was damaged during shipment and the whole thing was going back 
to the shipper. So all my shit got sent back and they refunded me my $90 that I had spent. So I reordered all of the things except for the oil because I wasn't gonna take that risk again. I went to the auto parts store in town and I got this right here. I'm gonna run this in, in it for a few months. It's gonna be fine. It's just a 10 W40 four stroke motorcycle oil. It's the same thing, you know, maybe 10 W30 would be better. I'm not a car guy, I don't really know, but. I'm gonna run that for uh, a few months. I am gonna eventually order the Honda specific oil for it. But I think changing the oil in this thing is needed, severely needed. So underneath this engine, there is a oil drain plug thingamajig. I forgot, it's a Honda, so it's gonna be all metric, right? Let's see if I can do this without getting any oil on me. Not bad, look at only a little bit. So the oil filter is located underneath here. Oh God, oh God. One more time, we gotta say the oh God thing. Oh God. Doesn't look too bad. So there's a certain direction this filter goes in. The rubber washer is facing out. Also, there's a spring on the inside, so be careful when you pull it out. Oh, did I tell you what this thing was? I, didn't, I don't think I said what this was. It's a Honda 4Trax 300 and it's a 1990 relatively new so if you f if you screw up and put this thing in the wrong way that's it you're going to destroy your engine so don't put it in the wrong way i put the cap back in the thingy man i'm not knowledgeable with vehicles and i can't find a straight answer online about how much to put in but from what i've read it's like two two of these and then Oh God, three, so maybe one, two, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, man, it is just stupid hot. I can't even think. I had glue. Yeah, we'll see each other soon. Yes, it's getting there. A little wrinkly right here. If I would have had that glue, it would have been fine. Oh my gosh. You're grounded. Go to your room, kid. Three months later. It's called a solenoid. Solenoid, I believe. Solenoid, or I would say solenoid, but I know it's not solenoid. It's solenoid. Remember the other day, before I left for vacation, we were looking at him, and I was like, "Yep, that's the one I need." Remember, we gotta get plugged in. Remember. So we gotta go put that in. All right, well that's great. Oh, that well, it's gonna just solenoid it up, you know? Yeah, interesting. Uh, can you? Yeah. All right, if you can bring it over here. I'm gonna drive this now. What are you hitting? Reverse? Cut the other way, other way. Oh no, wrong way. Oh my God, the other way. Yeah, that way. Okay, you stop over there. You didn't put it in neutral. I didn't. Yeah, fired. So for the last few months, I've been yeah, working on a lot of small down. engines that I have. I'm going down. That one's gonna be annoying, isn't it? I'm yeah. going down. It is. I'm yeah. going down, I'm going down. All right, all right. You want to knock the camera over? Yeah, that's only $3,000. That's all right. I'm going down. I'm going down. 
So a lot of the uh, small engines I have, a lot of them have like carburetor issues, so I've been replacing or cleaning carburetors. Uh, some of them have electric starts, like this one. Um, sometimes when you have a, an electric start motor, if you go to start it and it, all you're getting is a click, most likely it's your solenoid, solenoid, S-O-L-E, noid. Yeah. And my solenoid is located in here, right here. So this summer, this thing's been running pretty good. I've replaced the battery. What else did we replace? Uh, that doesn't fit either. Give me the whole kit. Okay, that's not appropriate. Nobody's gonna watch that and be like, you know what, that was pleasant. I enjoyed listening to that boy scream. All right, solenoid has been removed. How in the world does one get that inside there? Who? Me. There was this. I hope that didn't just fry it. Upsetta! New solenoid is installed. Yeah. Not Are like. Not, now? not the best job. Yeah. But good yeah. enough. Good enough, right? Yeah. yeah. Let's, Let's ride. ride. Yeah. No, you gotta go on the other one because I'm gonna film while we drive. Why? Because this is like an update video. You know, where I show people what I've been doing for the last three months. What have I done in the last three months? Nothing. Yeah, I know. Thanks, bud. <laughs> oh, we're going to have a mental breakdown here. We are having a mental breakdown. It was only a matter of time until we had a mental breakdown. So obviously I got this thing, but my neighbors also bought that one right there. A little nicer, a little newer. Brand new, very expensive. Oh, we're gonna get him. Get him, Pernet. Get him dead. Yeah, that's it, get him. So when I first got the four-wheeler, I came into my neighbor's backyard and I made these trails, which they've, this summer, have been getting a lot of use. They didn't really exist before. Originally, I made that bridge. I made the bridge down there, but I don't really like it because you feel like you're going to flip over when you get off the bridge. Man, these ruts. These kids have been riding the trail for sure. Okay. Holy cow. Hey, Esteban, are we done? No, you want to keep going? Why are you crying? You wanted to ride here? Well, I had to film something. I mean, give me a minute, and then you can ride it, okay? We don't have to cry about it. All right, we can yeah. cry about it. Are you going to film me? Yeah. Let's see how well this kid can do with this. Don't touch it. Oh, God, he almost fell. Hold it like this. Yeah, put your hand there. Like that? Yeah. How's that? Is that good? Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's what three years of composting toilet looks like. Amazing. And then we're back at the tiny house. So a few months ago, when I ran my electrical in the ground here, I also buried an air line. I put one here, also put one at my tiny house. So I've got air. This is a quick place to fill up on low air. That's garbage. So when I got this, I can't remember if I showed this, but I also got like a, uh, you know, toe strap, just one of them hook up. I got some, I don't know what those are called, D-rings. Some D-rings. also put that trailer hitch ball on the back so I can hook it up. But what I've been doing all summer is down here, you can't really see it, but I limbed up all the trees down there so you can drive the tractor. That burn pile was like double the size. Um, but I've been cleaning up all that, cleaning up along the whole fence line. Down the hill, I cleaned up a lot of dead trees. I've been using the four-wheeler to drag stuff up the hill. And uh, down, the hill. down the hill? Either way, it's coming one way up or down the hill. And uh, just cleaning up the property and it's been an absolute pleasure. Has it been fun? Summer's been fun, right? Yeah. I mean, now you're back in school. All right, drive it up there for me. How old are you? Uh, seven. Seven, okay. You got a helmet? Okay, good. So 
that's about it for this video. One thing that I absolutely hate about it is that there's gates everywhere. Everywhere I gotta go, I've gotta open a gate, close a gate to let horses out. So I've got an idea. It involves some metal up there, which uh, might turn into a video, might be next video. But I'll tell you, it's extremely uncomfortable talking in front of people. Oh, you're getting a little red rocket, are you? Oh, that's good. A little red rocket for the kids. That's good. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Sorry, I haven't posted in a while, but it's been a hot summer. And it's over. It's fall now, favorite season. I gotta stop looking over there. Forgot, bye.